Is that too high up? I feel like that's too high. <gasps> ah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back. It's me. I'm still loving this hair lamp. Like the fact I can just go lovely. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about all my current favourite products. I'm going to start off with one hair product that I bought from my hairdresser Tia because she used it on my hair. I was like, oh my god, that smells amazing. And um, this is a hairspray. So it is the Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shining Strong Hold Hairspray. She said that you could get it from um, B&M as well, but it's sm the smeller it sold it to me and it's like more of a mist. But I did break the thing it comes off. <laughs> but it smells like pure pineapple and I was like oh my god I need that like it's just a nice spray the only hairspray that I used before this was the got to be one the yellow one this one is like more of a mist um it's not as harsh on your hair or anything like that I always spray it on my hair just to get like the little baby hairs down um I do have a lot of baby hairs that have come through like brand new hairs so um, I always have to spray my hair with hairspray. I've been loving that. I am trying to get more into hair, guys. Um, talking about hair, I keep my hair extensions in this little box. Um, it was like a little PR box that Molly O'Brien sent me. I got these hair extensions. This was the colour um, she stole my look, but I dyed them and I've dyed them too dark. So my plan is, it lasts up to 28 washes this dye, so I'm just going to keep washing them and hope for the best. If not, I'll have to dye my other hair extensions. I had two sets from them, so I thought, oh, I'll dye the darker set. Um, it's not that bad, like, to be fair. I don't think it's like, oh god, I've got hair stuck to my gloss, lovely. I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. Like, I think my hair's a little bit lighter and a little bit more chocolatey, but underneath it matches, like that underneath. Um, but yeah, it's too dark and it needs to be a slightly a little bit warmer. I literally just bought the colour dark brown and thought, oh, that'll be fine. I got the Luxurious set and they sent these out to me. I've got a code for them, it's in my description box below. Um, they do ponytails now, like real hair ponytails. I've got that one from Foxy Locks that I bought myself, but I think I'm going to buy theirs as well, like in a lighter colour because I want to tie my hair back now. The blonde shows, so I need something with highlights in it, but. Yeah, there's a, there is a lot of hair in this set. I think it's 120 with my code. I'm not so sure. Look at that hair though. Obviously it looks thicker as well because it's dark because it looks thicker than before. I was like, oh my God. It is a lot of hair, 200 grams of hair for that much price. Then I'm gonna talk about this. This is the Be Perfect Hydro Glow Tanning Facial Mist. It's orange scented, it smells beautiful. This comes out like a mist. I don't wanna spray it because it literally is a self tanner. But I don't want to spray it on me and then I have an awkward like tan patch there. Um, it's like a, a facial mist. I use this on my hands and on my feet when I'm tanning. Sometimes I'll just use this, do you know, because like naturally you'll not tan as much on your face. Or it just fades really quickly. Just spray it on your face before you go to sleep. Wake up, you got a really nice evenly tanned face. All I would say is, if you're spraying it on your feet, make sure you've got no like long bottoms on. Because I sprayed it on my feet once and it, I, I had pyjama bottoms on you and they'll like cuff in. I need a little bit of a line and I was like, oh. But I did spray it about 10 times. I like to spray this quite a lot. It smells nice and it does the job for you. And I will not use anything other than this on my hands now. I've got a code for Be Perfect as well. On my codes, discount codes are down below. 20% um, off this, so you get a good amount off it. But let's get on to the next thing that's actually quite, it's boosting my confidence. I don't know if you guys have noticed, can you notice? My team is so much whiter, like. I was kindly gifted this. I'm a bit hesitant with teeth whitening stuff because I've tried teeth whitening stuff in the past and it's it's hurt so much, like just the sensitivity, like you know when you're breathing it's like, ow. <laughs> I've tried some fun, it just it didn't work for me, but I've tried the Millionaire um, whitening kit and the teeth whitening strips. You get so many in here. Um, so it comes with a little instruction thing. It's quite easy to use. So you get three of these like syringe things that we're gelling them um, and each one has like got little four applications in it. So I've used this six times now. Um, they do they do tell you to use it every single day but I used it every other day or every two, three days because I, I'm terrified of my teeth being too sensitive. Get the little thing in it. And the good thing about this is it stops every 10 minutes, so you can put it on for 20 to 30 minutes. I put it on for 30 minutes because I thought, well, what's an extra like 10 minutes? Um, I get more out of my application. You just have to press it three times because every time you press it, it does 10 minutes. So you don't have to put a timer on. I love that. I'm going to zoom you guys into my teeth so you can see what they look like. Look how wide they are. See, I used to have a problem with like getting like 
on this tier here, I'd get like a little bit of plaque. I'm a sweet tooth guy, so look at them. So the next two products I'll be talking about are by Be Perfect. They're both eyeshadow palettes. This is the Scepter palette. This is the collaboration with the, uh, I want to say Vivienne. Vivienne? 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 Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible guys, I really am, um, but oh my god, have you seen that, that green, that's the same size as the Carnival Extra Large Pro palette, if you're just wondering size wise, but I just love their eyeshadow formula, I've used it like, I think two times now I've used this palette, and yeah, I love it, I want to use it so much more, and I'm just like, oh my god, and I love the fact it has like, so this is supposed to be like contour, blush, highlight, and then you've got a massive white and black eyeshadow. Yeah, love that palette. You can save 20% off with the code 20blend. I think it's 20blend. I get confused. This is the Jack Josa Glow Goddess palette. This is what I've got on my eyes now. Um, this is just a really nice, simple, I love how it's set out. I feel like neutral palettes are just meant to be set out like this. Um, so you've got a good amount of like your shimmery colours, you've got your more warm tone browns, you've got your more caramelly browns, um, you've got you really, you've got two different dark browns as well. I've used this one and then this caramel colour on my eyes today. Um, but yeah, I love it because it's like a, almost black. It's like a really dark brown. But it's not black, so I feel like sometimes you just don't need a black in a palette. I'm like, can we skip that colour? I've got a hundred blacks in my eyeshadow palettes. Another thing for I'd be perfect is their new pigments. Specifically, this one is my favourite because it's not it's not like any other yellow that I've tried. It's called Insomnia. I'll put a picture of it here when I used it on my eyelid. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I'm just I just, I love it. Can you see that? You know, it's going to stop doing it justice. Oh. I'm really sad that you can't see how beautiful it is in person. And it's so like finely milled, like the really like soft pigments with tiny bits of glitter in it. I love that colour. If you're going to get a colour, please get that colour because you will not regret it because it is so nice. It's like a honeybee yellow loveliness. Talking about eye products, this has quickly become my favourite thing. This is the Helen E Double Base in the shade 2. This is good for, I've got sensitive eyes and it doesn't make me re react whatsoever. So this is really good for sensitive eyes. I did use the P. Louise one but I was, I was finding there was something in it that was just making my eyes just a bit sensitive. I can use it now and then but this I can use like every single day. I have no problems whatsoever. Um, it's the same thickness as the, oh that's probably why. It says on the back talc free, paraben free and fragrance free. That is the only time I've actually read the back of it. <laughs> you think I'd be reading it and stuff because I got like really, really bad <laughs> sensitive eyes. No. <laughs> no I tried it out and I was like oh my god love it. The pigments are really nice from these as well. They've got like neon pigments which are the best neon pigments. Love them. But yeah, double base in shade 2, my go-to eyeshadow primer. But next eye product I'm going to talk about is lashes. So lashes I've got on today, I've actually tried them out for the first time. I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see again. So these are the primer lashes um, in the style Smoked. So what's nice about these lashes is, I don't know if you can tell or not, I'm going to just move my up. Can you see that it's like thick and then there's like a really dramatic, dramatic thinness there? Can you see what I mean? I hope I can see it on camera, a little crazy. I've cut like the majority of the thin part off just so you can just see a little bit of feather in there. But it's blended in with my eyeshadow that good. You can't really tell what the eye like the lashes are doing, but they're just lifting my eye and they look absolutely amazing. So yeah, primer lashes in the style smoked. I got some for my kit as well. I did a massive lash kit order. I'm gonna keep these guys zoomed in so you can I can show you the lashes as well, might as well. These are the Sheen Lashes. These are faux mink, which means they don't irritate my eyes whatsoever. Mink can be a little bit weird with my eyes. I love all these styles in here. I've got a discount code, again, 20% off, it's down below. Um, SL1, SL2 and SL3. The fact that they come in a little like package as well, I love it. They are super fluffy as well for a um, faux mink lash. Uh, and then we've got Tatty Lashes, again, I love the fact that I've got discount codes for you guys. Um, Han15 will save you 15% off. Um, I love saving money. I like my codes. Sorry, not sorry. So these actually are individual 
They're not just one strip lash. This is Vibe Check and this is the TL Mitchell one. These are my favourite. They have a couple of different ones, but these two are my like, go-to ones. Like, they're just so nice. These are just a little bit shorter and fluffier. And then these are just, like, nice and dramatic for your under eyes, obviously. Oh, one thing I will mention. This isn't, like, makeup. Well, it is makeup related. When I take my photos now, I bought this off of eBay. This is just a Bluetooth camera um, remote. So I can just, like, look, click it like that. So if I'm going like this with my photos. Can you hear it? I can just click the photos and you can't see it and you just think I'm posing because when you've got the camera in front of you and using the back camera because it's better on an iPhone the back camera it's hard to take the photos even if you're using the front camera you don't want to just keep going like this because then it's the shoulder like imagine going like this then I'm just going like that or like that and then I've got that your shoulder just looks completely up and if you're like this game changer for posing <laughs> it's a good one oh Lashes, I forgot to mention this is the Eldora adhesive. So this is free from latex from Ardeline, from Ardelahi, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know that word. Uh, paraben and pathiolite free, hypoallergenic and waterproof. I can't say things clearly, I can't pronounce things, but this has kind of come, become one of my favourites because it's very good for like my eyes. I still stick my lashes to my lashes and not my skin just because I feel like I'm so used to it now. I'd rather just not have a reaction just in case. It's just the tackiness of the glue sometimes. Sometimes it's not even to do with like the ingredients. Sometimes it can just be any slight fumes. Eldora Lash Glue, if you've got sensitive eyes, definitely recommend trying that one. They kindly sent that to me. I just want to give a little shout out quickly to Molly O'Brien. Um, she's such a sweetheart and I've got a code for them coming very soon because I'm going to be part of the team. I'm like, oh, I love it. I love having like codes for stuff. I just like saving money, okay? <laughs> You love saving, saving money as well. If I'm recommending something to you, and I've got a like, discount code for it. It's just like a win-win situation, basically. Um, this is the Molly O'Brien Box M034 and the M029. This is the Mini P brush. So these are quite brand new. This, I love, if you can see I've used it for eye base. I just put it on my eye base and I tap it in with this. It is the perfect shape for your eye base just to set it in place and make sure it's nice and even. This, I've used it on myself and my clients. Obviously, I've cleaned it in between. <laughs> I've said that because I was like, Ugh. under eye concealer. It literally pats it in. So, you know, obviously, when you pat it on with a sponge, it takes away the coverage a little bit. It's like, meh. So, like, when I use, when I use this on my clients, so I, like, I use it on me every now and then. I do clean it. <laughs> it's good too. Um, it's really good for, like, just having, like, really nice high coverage under eye concealer. And this is the PM015 brush. I use this for foundation and my contour today so i put the foundation on first and then i do my cream contour beautiful this is like a mini version of this basically i i love them i love the brushes molly o'brien brushes are just one of my favorite brush brands eyebrow products so what i've got on my eyebrows today is the anastasia dip brow pomade in medium brown i'm gonna admit something it's gonna be disgusting please don't judge me don't judge me um i've had this for like a good couple years now Four or five years, yeah, I probably should have been in. Yeah, don't come for me. Um, but I've been using the Ingot Jura line to put in it, and it kind of makes it come back to life. Because obviously, it dries out and stuff, but I don't use a full pot of that hardly. Like, I, I use a, the tiniest amount, so it lasts me like years, so you know. Um, this is the Ingot Jura line. You can get both of these on lookfantastic.co.uk, 20% off as well using my code L L F T F blend by hand. Look fantastic, team fantastic, blown by hand, that's what it stands for. Face products, so, oh I love these. These are the P. Louise bases in the colours specifically. Winter Rose and Pretentious Peach. So I used both of these, I've actually mixed them up today as a cream blush and I put it on with like a duo fibre brush and just like whack it on basically. Um, I love both of these. I'm, I use this one more for blush but I've just mixed these two in today. I wish someone did this slightly darker. Um, but yeah, you can use these on the face as well as the eyes, and I love using them as cream blushes. They are incredible. Lottie London. These are the freckle tint pens. I accidentally bought the colour light from Look Fantastic, so I didn't realise they were different shades. I thought it was just one. So I ended up buying deep as well. So light is just like a, more like a gingery colour. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It looks really nice and natural on the skin, but deep obviously matches me 
better like a little eyeliner kind of thing and you just do is like dot it on and then like kind of press it into the skin it's the best product for freckles if you're looking for something i definitely recommend this then i've got this be perfect perfection primer this isn't brand new but i love this it's the only primer that's matte that won't dry out my skin smooths your skin out it smells nice as well i always think what does it smell like but it's literally like under a ten of this as well, so it's like drugstore price. Um, yeah, Perfection Primer, pumps it out, good for your kit as well, your makeup kit. Again, you're going to hate me saying this, but 20 blend, save you 20% off on that. Then we've got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Oh my god, this... I love it. This is the colour Stromboli. I think I need to go slightly darker, um, but this is fine for now, it's just when I get more tanned. Stromboli is a really nice popular colour, um, oh, I love it, it's my favourite, it's so lightweight but so high coverage. Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer, you can see that I love this, this is in the colour light beige, it just has a satisfying noise. <laughs> I'll go a tiny bit lighter, but I just love how this looks underneath my eye, I think it looks so nice. It is so hydrating, I wouldn't recommend using the normal one. Like the one in the black top, unless you are very oily. So the last products I'm going to be mentioning are all lip products. I'm going to be starting with what I've got on my lips now because it is such a lovely, like, fresh nude. Like, it still looks, like, quite soft, but has a bit pink tinge to it, but it's not ridiculously pink. It looks, like, nice and... Like, I put... It matches my blush. So the lip line I've got on is the Doll Beauty Run The World Lip Liner. The Come To My Lipstick by Doll Beauty. This is one of their old ones. I've updated the packaging now, but this is everything. And then I've just tried this out for the first time today. This is the new L'Oreal Plumping Glosses. Um, I've got sent them all um, and gifted them. Thank you, L'Oreal. Um, this is Eye Heightening. He Heighten? Look at the wand. It's so little bit, I love it though. It is, see I don't like the smell of mint and this doesn't smell like mint and I'm so happy that it doesn't. Like it smells like sweet. I love the way it feels, it's not like a ting, it's like not a, a horrible tingling feeling, it's just like something a little, just a tiny bit warm. That's really comfortable to wear, no burning or itching or what, whatsoever. I'm very sensitive guys, I'd tell you if it was like that. And then the lip liners and lipsticks from Cash Beauty, specifically in the colour Rust Nude and True Nude for the lip liners, so nice and creamy. And then the lipsticks, oh my god I need to show you this one though because it's so nice. This is Veil, can okay, you see it? It's what John Lipscomb wears, Veil, oh my god. And they smell like vanilla, didn't even mention that did I? And it says Cash on it, wait, is it ca Cash? Cash Beauty, True Nude, so that one's just slightly more warmer. So if I show you side by side, you'll get what I mean. I love a nice, like, the Veil one is like so cool, like, not cool tone, but it's more like neutral. Next to this one, my favourite gloss, other than the one I just popped on today, is, this is for nudie pink lips. This one's a little bit more softer of a nude pink than this one though. Um, this is the Double Glaze Be Perfect Gloss in the colour Salt and Caramel, like, Oh, it smells amazing as well. This one's a tiny bit more, you can t tell this one's got a little bit more of a deeper tone to it and this one's got a little bit more so of a softer pink tone to it. Guys, that is all my favourite products. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will list all the products down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs up. Hey. <laughs> I need to sit outside in the sun. It's actually so sunny outside. This is what happens. This is why I had a break from YouTube. It's so sunny and I'm just like, I'm gonna go out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favourite products are. Any products that I need to try out that you love, let me know in the comments. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.